Yo, hello everyone and welcome to a brand new tutorial. In this video, I will show you how to edit the navigation bar on Squarespace. Your navigation bar is essential part of your website, helping visitors to find their way around your content. This is very, very important. So in this video, I will show you how to edit the navigation bar on Squarespace, including how to add, remove and reorder pages. Customize the design and create drop down menus. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. Before we start, the first thing that I will need you to do is launch your browser and then go to the URL section and search for Squarespace. From here, just wait for the page to load and then click on one of those buttons that says get started. So let's go ahead and click on one of these. And here we are. Now all we need to do is choose what kind and what type of website are we going to aim for. Let's choose like a random one, a blog with the fashion. And I'm going to keep it simple like that. So let's choose this one and let's get started with it now they are setting things up for us it will not take that long only a couple seconds now let's give the title uh, the site a title so tutorial is a good title for me though so let's keep it like that and let's click on continue next next and let's get started now as you can see here are the pages so here they are the main navigation menu so there is the shop the about the journal on the context as you can see here they are all and you can remove them if you'd like to as you can see here let me just do this so you can remove as you like you can adjust and add so let's go through it one by one so first of all let's write from me for example remove chop just click on it and as you can see, delete store pages are no longer available and will be permanently deleted in 30 days. Confirm. And it has been deleted, as you can see here. Let's try to add it back. So let's add, for example, a blank page and let's name it home. So as you can see here, this is the page that we are going to call it a home page. Click here to settings and here let's make it, for example, page title, navigation title, and the URLs like. Here, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it as our home page. So click on it. So are you sure you want this, you want to make this collection the front page of your site? It will be the first thing visitors to your site see. Click on confirm. And as you can see, it has been changed and made as our home page. You can see the logo next to it over here. So as you can see, home page next to it now you can add for example some new navigation menu for example let's add another blank page let's call it news and for this one i'm going to drag it over here and let me add a new blank page which i'm going to call it sports so let's say that you want to actually make like a drop down list how you can do that as you can see for example here there is some kind of uh, three things in here so how we can do it simply you can either go to it as you can see here this is sports and basically just add a page over here so let's add a new page blank folder and let's name instead of it sports over here so for example here i'm going to name it football so football football and same thing football football and everything is good so that's it with this so let's save it and now this will be directly added to this one if you just drag it over here so if you drag it over it it will be directly added into it so as simple as that now if you'd like to edit this navigation menu itself well you can click on edit and here you can edit the site header from here you can edit it from design and logo and much more so let's start with site title and logo here you can add the logo of yours you can upload the file for example let's choose this one and it will be added so let's give it some time and as you can see here it is now here we can add elements from buttons and 
here social links just give it some time and it will be loaded and of course you will have language tweets but this one it has to be a premium version in order to have it on here you can turn on and off the cart if you had like a shopping website and of course the cart itself you can edit it make some borders around it and much more let's turn it off for now now let's go with here let's fix the position and let's go to style the style we can add a border into this menu which is the header we can make it something like so something like that small medium large and it depends on you on how many pixels you'd like to add so it is completely up to you as you can see here and of course you can even add dynamic so gradient add some gradient color uh, 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 make the capacity higher lower choose the colors so let's make it something like that something to this like the colors of the writing itself it is completely up to you so let's keep it like that it is better yeah I will keep it like that because it seems to be the black better you can even reduce the opacity so let's try this and let's reduce the capacity a little bit it's giving a good vibe actually so we can add a border so here it is which is we talked about just right now and here I drop shadow so we can add a shadow to this so you can he here it is as you can see it it is here we can add the distance we can add some blur into it so it has like a good effect like dropping black effects a shadow over the other layers which are going to be in the page now this is the basic of editing the website of course this is not everything you can edit you can even get more of like uh, these things during the get, getting like your premium version so now let's talk about the last thing which is in the settings which is the fixed header style so this one has you have two options so in case you were scrolling so Basically, if I went to a website, let's try for example uh, this one or Amazon. All right, so Amazon it has this menu over here. If I went down, the menu is no longer going to follow me; it will stay there. So if I went down, I will not have the menu unless I went up to there. So this effect, which is over here, it will allow you to actually have the menu follow you while you are going and scrolling in the website itself it is very very good it is pretty much useful for those who are indeed needing this effect to be in their website so it is a really good features feature to have in your website and finally guys when you finish with all of that try to switch into your mobile view and back and forward so you can see like the difference between them if there was any error make sure to make it correctly and to fix it and when you are done and you feel like you are ready to go and to publish your website make sure to click on save from here it will save every single detail or thing you have made in your website and just like that when you finish with that it will be good to go so yeah guys thank you a lot for watching and see you guys in